Hello students, this video is about TM1 examination uh, organized by Cambridge Assessment Admission Testing and it happened in uh, the last the last one happened uh, November 2020 uh, this is the date has been a little bit extended due to coronavirus pandemic so uh, today I will be solving uh, both the papers okay and uh, it will be in a series of videos every video will have around uh, three to four questions solved so that you can take some shorter amount of time and you can see them as well okay so we will be starting with uh, question number one today let me just go to the paper here is the first one so which of the following expression for the first derivative with respect to x is given over here so let's take it as y and remember that whenever in these kind of formats it is given so you need to take the powers in additive format so the very first line will be x square minus 5x square into 2 into x to the power 3 by 2 so this will be 2 into x to the power 3 by 2 so this is 1 root x means half so x to the power 3 by 2 now we will do it on a u by v principle u by v so what is the formula so denominator square numerator d u d x minus u d v d x but with respect to x we are doing the calculation so here we have a look so d y and d x so half is outside it's anywhere constant so i'm putting the half outside so denominator square okay so this will be x to the power 3 by 2 and it's square so it will be x cube so denominator derivative of the numerator so this will give you x cube will give you 3x square and this minus 5x square will give you 10x minus in the second part um, we will be doing x to the power 3 by 2 I'm doing it here x to the power 3 by 2 so this time the numerator will be unchanged so x cube minus 5x square x cube minus 5x square and derivative of the numerator so 3 by 2 x to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 okay so let's have a look where we have got let me just write a fresh over here taking some more space so this is giving you only x cube the denominator the numerator if you just multiply 3 into x and 3 by 2 plus 2 okay so 3 by 2 plus 2 or else let me just uh, see whether we can take something more common here or not okay so this will be 3 into x to the power this is 3 by 2 plus 2 okay so this is 3 into x to the power 3 by 2 plus 2 so this is x to the power 7 by 2 so here 3 x to the power 7 by 2 in the first place next this minus minus 10 into 3 by 2 plus 1 which will provide you 5 by 2 so 10 x to the power 5 by 2 and in this part there is a minus i'm just going to rewrite this part without doing anything x cube minus 5x square and 3 by 2 x to the power here it is 3 by 2 minus 1 so that is 1 so only x okay so we are going to do a basic derivative again and uh, 3 into x to the power 7 by 2 minus 10 x to the power 5 by 2 minus 3 by 2 and remember that here it is 3 by 2 minus 1 so 1.5 minus 1 sorry this is half uh, so here 3 by 2 x to the power this is 3 and a half so 7 by 2 again so you see now we get a 7 by 2 that will be taken common later on and uh, minus minus there will be a plus and 3 by 2 so this is 15 by 2 x to the power 5 by 2 so that is the total numerator and this will be divided by x is q now
if we take these things together so 3 minus 3 by 2 so 3 minus 1.5 so only this part all the powers together so 3 and 3 and a half so these two together so this is 3 minus 1.5 so 1.5 so 3 and a half x to the power 7 by 2 minus there is 10 minus 10 plus 7.5 so this is minus 2.5 so minus 5 by 2 x to the power 5 by 2 and that will be divided by x cube now here within 7 by 2 and 5 by 2 is there so you can take this part away okay okay so only a little bit adjustment left out so what we can do here so here half can be taken common so 1 by 2 and another half is coming out and you can take x to the power 5 by 2 also common okay so this is left out with 3 and this is 5 by 2 we have taken common from 7 by 2 so five by, 7 by 2 is 3.5 and this is 2. we have taken 2.5 common so there is only one is being left over here so we can say it only 3x okay minus the whole thing has been taken common only 5 is left so 3x minus 5 and the denominator is x cube so a little bit of left is so 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 4 this is 3x minus 5 base base so x to the power 5 by 2 minus 3 so this is 1 by 4 3x minus 5 if you come into this so this will be x to the power minus half or 1 by root x so the final answer is 3x minus 5 by 4 root over x so there are six options and the answer to this one is c so all you have to do is which one which route to go for and how to do the derivative and after this the adjustment is really really important okay next now they have given 2x minus 1 and x minus 2 are the factors of a given cubic equation okay it's a cubic formation so what is the value of 2p plus q so now if 2x plus 1 is a factor then 2x plus 1 equal to 0 we have to do and x equal to minus half so if we put x equal to minus half into this equation then it will give you a value which is 0 because it is becoming the factor here so 2x q plus px square plus q now at f of minus half this is the fx value a function of x function of minus half so 2 minus 2 so this is minus 1 by 8 p x square so plus and this is q and this is equal to 0 so remember that if you multiply both sides by uh, this is anyway is giving 4 so if you multiply 4 both sides so minus 1 plus p plus 4 q equal to 0 or p plus 4 q equal to 1 this is one equation okay very similarly another part is given as x minus 2 so x equal to 2 so this time you put again so 2 here in this equation so 2 into 2 q so this is 8 p into 2 square that's 4 and q equal to 0 so this is 16 plus 4 p plus q equal to 0 so 4 p plus q equal to minus 16 so 4p plus q equal to minus 16 and p plus 4q equal to 1 all you have to do is to now solve it just multiply with 4 so 4p plus 16q equal to 4 and you just write it down 4p plus q equal to minus 16 and subtract it okay so this is gone so 15q equal to 20 so 15q equal to 20 and remember that what they have asked 2p plus q 2p plus q they have asked so we are going to find both the values so q equal to 20 by 15 so 4 by 3 and if you put in any of these equations so p plus so p plus in this uh, if we put 
then we get the second part as well so p plus 4q so 16 by 3 equal to 1 so p equal to 1 minus 16 by 3 that is minus 13 by 3 so obviously p plus 2q is p is minus 13 by 3 2q that is 8 by 3 so Uh, let me just check. Okay, sorry. They have asked 2p plus q. So this is p plus 2q. This will be, this haven't they asked. So this is minus 5 by 3 is the answer. Okay, uh, but uh, you get back to the question. It is 2p plus q. 2 into p plus q. So 2 into p. So that is 2 minus 13 by 3 plus q. Q is 4 by 3. So minus 26 or so minus 22 by 3. Hence, option number C is the correct answer.